Anne Blythe, an actress who graced the silver screen in the mid-20th century, was a true talent in the world of film. Born on August 16, 1928, in Mount Kisco, New York, Blythe's career spanned over four decades and included numerous memorable performances. Blythe's breakout role came in 1945, when she starred alongside Bing Crosby in the classic film The Bells of St. Mary's. Her portrayal of the sweet and innocent sister Benedict earned her critical acclaim and solidified her status as a rising star. Throughout her career, Blythe demonstrated her versatility as an actress, taking on a wide range of roles in various genres. From dramatic performances in films like Mildred Pierce and Another Part of the Forest, to musical roles in Kismet and The Student Prince, Blythe proved herself to be a true talent. In addition to her work in film, Blythe also made appearances on stage and television. She starred in several Broadway productions, including Kiss Me, Kate, and Goldilocks, and made guest appearances on popular TV shows such as The Ed Sullivan Show and The Carol Burnett Show. Blythe's contributions to the entertainment industry have left a lasting impact, and her performances continue to be cherished by audiences today. Her talent, versatility, and dedication to her craft have solidified her place as a classic Hollywood star. Anne Blythe was a talented actress born in August 1928. You may know her from films like Mildred Pierce or The Helen Morgan Story. Her ability to portray complex characters made her shine among her peers. Can you recall the first work of Anne Blythe you watched? Did it make an impression on you? What sets Anne Blythe apart from her contemporaries is her range and depth as an actor. She could play both dramatic and comedic roles with equal finesse. Do you have a particularly cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic star? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. As we delve deeper into Anne Blythe's life and career, prepare to discover many surprising, humorous, and emotional moments. From her early beginnings to her rise to stardom, stay tuned to learn more about this unforgettable actress. Born in Mount Kisco, New York, on August 16, 1928, to parents Michael and Nanette Guzzo, Anne Blythe was destined for stardom from an early age. Her father owned a successful restaurant while her mother, a talented singer, introduced young Anne to the world of entertainment. By the time she reached adolescence, it became clear that the actress had inherited her mother's musical abilities and acting talent. At nine years old, Anne made her Broadway debut in Watch on the Rhine, which paved the way for future opportunities in theater, radio, and television. As a teenager, she appeared regularly on popular programs like The Gibson Family and Silver Theater. These experiences solidified her passion for performing and prepared her for the rigorous demands of Hollywood. When MGM signed Anne in 1945, she found herself under the tutelage of renowned industry professionals. Among them were veteran actors Spencer Tracy and Greer Garson, who provided valuable guidance during her formative years. Additionally, studio executives groomed her for success by carefully selecting roles tailored to highlight both her singing prowess and dramatic range. Another influential figure in Anne's life was director Vincente Minnelli. Under his direction, she starred alongside Gene Kelly in the groundbreaking musical Brigadoon. This collaboration allowed Anne to hone her skills further, ultimately leading to more diverse and challenging parts throughout her career. Despite facing numerous obstacles along the way, including being typecast as the traditional girl next door, Anne persevered, building a lasting legacy through memorable performances in classics like Mildred Pierce and The Student Prince. With each role, she continued to grow and evolve as an artist, leaving an indelible mark on cinema history. To this day, her work resonates with audiences worldwide, inspiring new generations to pursue careers in the arts. In turn, these aspiring performers discover Anne Blythe's timeless contributions and carry on her passion for storytelling. Born on August 16, 1928, in Mount Kisco, New York, actress Anne Blythe was the second of three children in her family. Her father was a salesman while her mother was a singer. From a young age, Blythe showed a keen interest in performing arts, inspired by her mother's singing. She began her acting career as a child artist in radio programs before moving on to stage productions. At the tender age of 12, she made her Broadway debut in Lillian. However, it wasn't until she turned 16 that Blythe caught the attention of Hollywood producers after replacing star Shirley Mason midway through the run of Watch on the Rhine on Broadway. This break led to a contract with Universal Pictures. Despite being new to films, Blythe quickly established herself as a talented performer, capable of handling both dramatic and musical roles. 
One notable performance came in Mildred Pierce, where she played against type as the manipulative, gold-digging daughter Veda. Although initially hesitant about taking on such a dark character, Blythe delivered a chilling portrayal that earned her an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actress. Over time, she would appear in various genres, including comedy, drama, and swashbucklers, solidifying her status as a versatile player in Hollywood. Throughout her illustrious career, Blythe left an indelible mark in cinema history, gracing numerous classics like Brute Force, The World in His Arms, and Killer's Kiss. Even today, fans continue to appreciate her contributions to this timeless art form. Even as a child, Anne Blythe showed a keen interest in the world of entertainment. At the tender age of four, she would often put on performances for her family, singing and dancing with great enthusiasm. This early inclination towards the arts hinted at the passion that would later define her career. Blythe's formal training began when she was enrolled in a local music school at six years old. Her natural talent for singing quickly became apparent, and she started performing in various school productions. It was during this time that Blythe discovered her love for acting, often taking on leading roles in the school's theatrical presentations. A pivotal moment in Blythe's journey towards becoming an actress came when she was 12. She attended a performance of the play A Midsummer Night's Dream and found herself completely captivated by the magic of the stage. The experience left a lasting impression on her, fueling her desire to pursue a career in the theater. In the following years, Blythe continued to hone her craft, dividing her time between acting in school productions and performing at local community theaters. Her dedication and talent did not go unnoticed, and she soon caught the attention of a Hollywood agent. This opportunity marked the beginning of a successful film career for the young actress, who would go on to appear in numerous classic films and establish herself as a beloved figure in Hollywood. For many years, Anne Blythe resided in the affluent Toluca Lake community in the San Fernando Valley. In the classic film Mildred Pierce, she portrayed the cunning and manipulative Veda Pierce. Interestingly, it was Anne Blythe who convinced director Michael Curtis to cast Joan Crawford as Mildred Pierce after a successful screen test with Anne herself. The film, set in 1945, features an array of luxurious cars that were rare at the time due to the halt in civilian auto production during World War II. Mildred, played by Joan Crawford, drives a 1942 Cadillac, while Wally, portrayed by Jack Carson, drives a 1941 Buick convertible. Monte, played by Zachary Scott, is seen in a 1941 Oldsmobile convertible. Meanwhile, Veda, played by Anne Blythe, receives a 1940 Buick convertible as a present. These classic cars add to the film's historical context, showcasing the luxurious lifestyle of the characters, despite the wartime restrictions in the outside world. Anne Blythe's portrayal of Veda Pierce, a character who revels in this luxury, is a standout performance in this classic film. Her ability to embody the complexities of Veda's character is a testament to her talent as an actress. Born in 1928 to a family struggling through the Great Depression, Anne Blythe's path to stardom was strewn with obstacles. Financial hardship forced her to abandon formal education and seek work early on. However, she turned adversity into opportunity by focusing on acting. At the tender age of 12, Blythe secured her first role in a local production, igniting a passion that would see her through numerous trials. As she ventured into the competitive world of Hollywood, the actress encountered industry skepticism due to her youthful appearance and lack of experience. Undeterred, Blythe honed her craft tirelessly, taking voice lessons and absorbing knowledge from seasoned professionals. Her unwavering dedication soon caught the attention of studio executives who began casting her in minor roles. Despite being pigeonholed as an ingenue, Blythe demonstrated remarkable range and depth in her performances. In Mildred Pierce, she portrayed the complex character Veda Pierce, challenging herself and silencing critics. This breakthrough role propelled her career forward, shattering preconceived notions about her abilities. Throughout her illustrious career, spanning over four decades, Anne Blythe consistently defied expectations while navigating personal losses and health issues. She proved time, and again that talent, perseverance, and adaptability can triumph over adversity, leaving behind a legacy worthy of admiration. In Italy, the actress was often dubbed by Fiorella Betti and Rosetta Calavetta. Occasionally, she was also dubbed by Lydia Simoneschi, Renata Marini, Michaela Giustiniani, and Rina Morelli, most notably in the role of Veda Pierce in Mildred Pierce. She was awarded a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame at 6733 Hollywood Boulevard in Hollywood, California on February 8, 1960. 
Additionally, she was the recipient of the Living Legacy Award by the Women's International Center in 2003. In 1944, Anne Blythe's career took a significant turn when she signed a contract with MGM Studio. She was just 16 years old at the time. This opportunity provided the foundation for her to showcase her talent in various films. One of her groundbreaking projects was the 1945 film Mildred Pierce, where she played the role of Veda Pierce. The film was a critical success, earning six Academy Award nominations and one win. Bly's portrayal of the manipulative and scheming character was highly praised, with critics noting her exceptional acting skills. In the following years, Blythe continued to deliver impressive performances in films such as The Bride Walks Out, Another Part of the Forest, and The Great Caruso. Her work in these films gained her recognition and critical acclaim, solidifying her status as a talented actress. In 1952, Blythe received her first and only Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actress for her role in The Great Caruso. Although she did not win the award, her nomination was a testament to her impact in the film industry. Blythe's work in the theater was also notable. In 1959, she made her Broadway debut in Kiss Me Kate, where she received critical acclaim for her performance. Her work in the theater showcased her versatility as an actress and solidified her place in the entertainment industry. Throughout her career, Anne Blythe's work resonated with audiences and critics alike. Her ability to portray complex characters with depth and nuance was highly regarded. Her contributions to the film and theater industries left a lasting impact, and her performances continue to be cherished by classic movie fans today. Transition notably, once geared towards an operatic career studying with the San Carlo Opera Company, Anne Blythe's character, Veda, in Mildred Pierce, was portrayed differently in various adaptations. In the FX series Feud, Sarah Mulaski played Veda in an episode titled The Other Woman. However, in HBO's Mildred Pierce, the character of Veda was not a killer, staying true to the original novel. Anne Blythe was 16 when she portrayed Veda Pierce in this classic. Anne Blythe's artistic vision is deeply rooted in her ability to fully embrace each character she portrays. In her early years, Blythe was known for her charming performances in musical films like Merton of the Movies and The Great Caruso. However, it was her chilling performance as Veda Pierce and Mildred Pierce that truly showcased her range as an actress. Despite being just 18 when cast in Mildred Pierce, Blythe approached the role of the manipulative and scheming daughter with a maturity beyond her years. She delved deep into the complexities of Veda's character, creating a villain who was both detestable and pitiable. Her commitment to understanding the motivations behind Veda's actions allowed Blythe to create a memorable and haunting performance that resonated with audiences. Throughout her career, Blythe consistently chose roles that challenged her abilities and expanded her horizons as an artist. Whether playing a sweet ingenue or a cunning antagonist, Blythe brought depth and authenticity to every part she played. One notable aspect of Blythe's acting style is her attention to detail. Each gesture, expression, and line delivery serves a purpose, contributing to the overall narrative of the story. This meticulousness can be seen in classics like Killer McCoy and Brute Force, where Blythe masterfully conveys emotion through subtle facial expressions and body language. Moreover, Blythe's personal experiences shaped her perspective on life and informed her artistry. After losing her mother at a young age, Blythe found solace in music and theater. These passions eventually led her to Hollywood, where she pursued her dreams despite facing numerous challenges along the way. As a result, resilience became a defining characteristic of her work, inspiring generations of aspiring actors and artists alike. Ultimately, Anne Blythe's legacy lies in her unwavering dedication to her craft and her willingness to take risks throughout her career. Through challenging herself and pushing boundaries, Blythe created timeless works that continue to captivate viewers today. By embracing vulnerability and drawing upon her own experiences, Blythe established herself as a formidable talent whose impact transcends the silver screen. In the 1970s, the actress Anne Blythe became the commercial spokesperson for Hostess Cupcakes. This classic role allowed her to connect with audiences in a different way than her previous film and theater work. One of her most memorable film roles was as Veda Pierce in Mildred Pierce, which also featured an Oscar-nominated performance by Eve Arden. As Veda, Anne Blythe portrayed a complex character who would stop at nothing to get what she wanted. Despite playing a demanding and sometimes unsympathetic character, 
Anne Blythe had nothing but positive things to say about her experience working with Joan Crawford on the set of Mildred Pierce. She described Crawford as the kindest, most helpful human being I've ever worked with, and shared that they remained friends for many years after the film. Clearly, their professional relationship transcended the challenges presented by the storyline. It's fascinating to consider how actors and actresses can bring even the most difficult characters to life while maintaining respect and admiration for their colleagues off-screen. Anne Blythe, the actress, began her career in the 1940s, and her impact on the film industry is still felt today. Known for her versatility, Blythe tackled a wide range of roles, from musicals to dramas, leaving a rich legacy in Hollywood. In the film Mildred Pierce, Blythe's portrayal of the vindictive Veda Pierce was a stark contrast to her sweet and innocent image. This role showcased her ability to adapt to different characters and won her critical acclaim. Film critic Leonard Maltin described Blythe as one of the most underrated actresses of the classic era. Blythe's contributions extended beyond her acting skills. She was also a talented singer, with a voice that was described as bell-like and clear. In the film The Great Caruso, she sang several operatic arias, showcasing her vocal prowess. The actress's influence can be seen in the work of modern-day performers. Actor and singer Kristen Chenoweth cites Blythe as one of her inspirations, praising her ability to sing and act at the same time. Despite her success, Blythe remained humble and dedicated to her craft. She once said, I never thought of myself as a star. I simply wanted to be a good actress. This dedication and passion for her work have left an indelible mark on the film industry. In conclusion, Anne Blythe's contributions to the film industry are significant and far-reaching. Her versatility as an actress and singer, as well as her dedication to her craft, have inspired generations of performers and continue to resonate with audiences today. At the 1954 Oscar broadcast, the actress Anne Blythe left the audience in awe. She sang Doris Day's nominated song, Secret Love from the movie Calamity Jane, all while being seven months pregnant. This bold performance showcased her versatility and willingness to take on new challenges. In the movie Mildred Pierce, the actress gave a memorable performance as Veda Pierce. Initially, Virginia Widler was considered for the part. However, it was Blythe who secured the role, impressing the casting directors with her test just three weeks before shooting began. Regarding the Helen Morgan story, there's an interesting detail about the actress's singing voice. Although she had a beautiful voice, it was dubbed by singer Gogi Grant. The reason was that Blythe's voice was considered too classically trained and high-pitched for the role. This decision showcases the complexities behind filmmaking and the choices made in the process. Anne Blythe, the actress, was known for her work in films and shows, but she also had a life outside of the spotlight. She was passionate about several causes and often used her platform to raise awareness and support for them. One of the causes close to her heart was helping children in need. She was involved with several organizations that focused on providing care and support for young people who were facing difficult circumstances. Blythe believed that every child deserved a chance to thrive and work tirelessly to make a difference in their lives. In addition to her philanthropic efforts, Blythe's personal values and interests often informed her work as an actress. She was known for her strong will and determination, which she brought to every role she played. Blythe's characters were often complex and multidimensional, reflecting her own depth and complexity as a person. Despite her success, Blythe remained humble and down to earth. She was always grateful for the opportunities she had and never took them for granted. Blythe's dedication to her craft and her commitment to making a difference in the world have left a lasting impact on the film industry and beyond. Through her philanthropic efforts and her work as an actress, Blythe has shown that she was not just a talented performer, but also a kind and compassionate person. Her legacy continues to inspire and influence those who follow in her footsteps. In the film Mildred Pierce, actress Anne Blythe takes on the role of Ada Pierce, with Joan Crawford playing her mother. Interestingly, Crawford had previously starred in the original version of Rosemary in 1928, while Blythe portrayed the same character in its remake, Rosemary, in 1954. During the filming of Mildred Pierce, Blythe shared an intense scene where she had to slap Crawford on the staircase. It was Crawford herself who instructed Blythe to give her a real slap, making the scene more authentic. Anne Blythe's personal life also saw significant milestones. She became a mother five times over, giving birth to her first child, Timothy Patrick, on June 10, 1954. 
Her daughter Maureen Ann followed on December 14, 1955, with Kathleen Mary joining them on December 23, 1957. The family grew further with the arrival of Terence Brady on December 9, 1960, and was completed by Eileen Alana on April 10, 1963. All of her children were born in Los Angeles County. Anne Blythe, a name that echoes in the halls of classic Hollywood, is an actress known for her versatile performances. She graced the silver screen with a unique charm that left a lasting impression. Blythe's career spanned over four decades, during which she showcased her talent in various genres. From her dramatic role in Mildred Pierce to her musical prowess in The Belle of New York, she proved her mettle as a consummate actress. When asked about her legacy, Blythe might reflect on the accolades she received, including an Academy Award nomination. However, she would likely emphasize the importance of the craft itself. She might advise aspiring professionals to focus on honing their skills and staying true to their artistic vision. She might say, always remember why you fell in love with acting in the first place. The joy of bringing a character to life is unparalleled. Stay dedicated to your craft and the rest will follow. Blythe's future contributions might have been in the form of teaching or mentoring young actors, sharing her wisdom and experience. She might have encouraged them to explore their creativity and not be afraid to take risks. In the end, Anne Blythe's legacy is not just about her performances, but also her professionalism, dedication, and the positive impact she had on those around her. Her contributions to the film industry are a testament to her enduring talent and passion for her craft. After the release of Mildred Pierce in 1945, actress Anne Blythe faced misfortune when she broke her back while tobogganing in Snow Valley. A lengthy recovery period of six months followed. Later, in 1951, Anne Blythe received generous gifts, a Cadillac, and a swimming pool from the unconventional movie mogul Howard Hughes prior to her engagement and subsequent marriage to Dr. James McNulty, with whom she welcomed five children. Throughout her life, Blythe has been known for her political views, publicly supporting prominent conservative Republican figures, including Dwight D. Eisenhower, Richard Nixon, Gerald Ford, Ronald Reagan, George Bush, and George W. Bush. Anne Blythe, the actress, began her journey in the entertainment industry at a young age. She started her career in the 1940s and quickly gained recognition for her exceptional talent. Blythe's passion for acting was evident in every role she played and she brought a unique energy to each performance. Throughout her career, Blythe demonstrated her versatility by appearing in a variety of film genres, including musicals, dramas, and comedies. She starred alongside some of the biggest names in Hollywood, and her performances were always memorable. One of Blythe's most iconic roles was in the classic film Mildred Pierce, where she played the complex character of Veda Pierce. Her portrayal of this character was nuanced and captivating, and it showcased her incredible acting range. Blythe's impact on the entertainment industry has endured over the years, and her performances continue to resonate with audiences today. Her legacy is a testament to the power of creativity and perseverance, and she serves as an inspiration to aspiring actors around the world. Despite facing challenges and obstacles throughout her career, Blythe never wavered in her passion for acting. She remained committed to her craft and continued to push boundaries, leaving behind a body of work that will be cherished for generations to come. So, as you reflect on the career of Anne Blythe, take a moment to appreciate the power of creativity and the impact that one person can have on an entire industry. And let the enduring legacy of this classic actress serve as a reminder of the importance of passion, innovation, and perseverance. Anne Blythe's mother, Annie Lynch, was an Irish-born woman who passed away in Los Angeles at the age of 50. Her father, Harry Blythe, was also of Irish descent. Blythe had an elder sister named Dorothy. In the classic film Mildred Pierce, Blythe played the role of Veda Pierce, a character that Joan Crawford coached her for privately. Warner Brothers initially did not want to cast Blythe because she was under contract to Universal and it would require a loan out. However, after viewing her screen test, Warners began negotiations to borrow her for the film. In 1971, Anne Blythe and her husband were awarded the rank of Lady and Knight of the Holy Sepulchre by Cardinal Cook, a significant honor. The actress's roles in various films and shows have left a lasting impact, and she continues to be remembered for her work in the world of classic Hollywood. The actress Anne Blythe, known for her roles in classic films, actively supported various charities. Among them, she demonstrated her civic involvement by donating to the Republican National Committee, March of Dimes, American Bible Society, American Red Cross, Catholic Charities, and Salesian Missions. 
Her significant bond with the film industry included a memorable collaboration with Donald O'Connor in films like Bowery to Broadway, Chip Off the Old Block, and The Mary Monahans, showcasing their on-screen chemistry. Notably, as of 2022, Anne Blythe holds the distinction of being the oldest surviving recipient of a Best Supporting Actress Oscar nomination, recognized for her performance in Mildred Pierce, solidifying her place in Hollywood history. Anne Blythe shares a special connection, as she was born on the same day as singer Adie Gorham. In the 1950s, the actress became a member of the Christophers, an inspirational group with a mission to make the world a better place through positive action in areas like political fairness, aiding the poor and sick, and helping those with wit addictions. This classic group included other notable figures such as Loretta Young, Irene Dunn, Ricardo Montalban, Donna Michi, James Cagney, and Bob Hope. During this time, Anne Blythe was also under contract with Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer until 1956. Her journey with the Christophers and MGM further solidified her place in Hollywood history. The actress's dedication to both her craft and these humanitarian efforts remains noteworthy. The film industry and the world have benefited from her contributions, which continue to resonate today. Anne Blythe's career was not without its share of personal tragedy. In 1957, her husband, Dr. James McNulty, died suddenly from a heart attack at the age of 44. The couple had been married for only six years and had four young children together. Blythe was devastated by the loss and took a break from acting to grieve and focus on her family. Delving into Anne Blythe's career, she was an accomplished actress who demonstrated her versatility in a variety of film genres. She first gained recognition for her role as the vengeful daughter in Mildred Pierce, for which she received an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actress. Blythe continued to showcase her talent in musicals such as Kismet and The Student Prince, where she displayed her singing abilities. In addition to her work in film, Blythe also made a successful transition to the stage. She starred in several Broadway productions, including the musical, Look to the Lilies, and the drama, The Devils. Blythe's talent extended beyond acting, as she was also an accomplished singer, with several hit records to her name. Despite the challenges she faced in her personal life, Anne Blythe remained a dedicated and hardworking actress throughout her career. Her contributions to the world of film and theater have left a lasting impact, and her legacy continues to be celebrated by fans and industry professionals alike. Let's talk about the actress, Anne Blythe. She graced the silver screen with her radiant presence and captivated audiences with her powerful voice. From her early days as a child actor to her breakout role in Mildred Pierce, Blythe demonstrated her versatility and talent. In Mildred Pierce, she played the manipulative and scheming daughter Veda with such finesse that it earned her an Academy Award nomination. Despite her young age, Blythe held her own against veteran actresses like Joan Crawford, leaving a lasting impression on audiences and critics alike. Throughout her career, the actress continued to shine in various roles, from period dramas to musicals. In The Student Prince, she showcased her beautiful soprano voice, while in Killer McCoy, she proved her acting chops in a gritty crime drama. Blythe's work has left a lasting impact on the film industry and continues to be celebrated by classic movie fans. Her legacy is a testament to her talent and dedication to her craft. Now, we would love to hear your thoughts on Anne Blythe's work and legacy. What are your favorite films or performances of hers? Share your memories and opinions in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this celebration of Anne Blythe's career, please like and share this post with your friends and family. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content celebrating the creative spirits shaping inner.